Recently, the spinal engine theory has gained popularity with strength coaches, speed coaches, and movement professionals. And I gotta say, it's about time. In this video, I'm gonna try to give you a simplified explanation of what this theory means and discuss how we can use this information to train our athletes more efficiently. The spinal engine theory comes from a Canadian biomechanist named Serge Grakovetsky. His studies indicated that the spine was the primary engine for human locomotion. This concept is clearly illustrated when we observe a human with no legs walking. Grakovetsky observed that to create efficient movement, the spine rotates and side bends to one side, essentially pushing our shoulder down and back so that our hip can come up and move forward. As speed and intensity increases, so does the range of motion through the spine. Now, when we compare that theory to the mainstream theory and the way that strength coaches nowadays are being educated, they really couldn't be more different. All right, so remember, Grakovetsky is implying that our spine is meant to move, rotate, side bend to create more efficient movement and to help us locomote. The traditional or the mainstream concept right now is that the number one role of your core when you locomote is to brace and resist rotation. And we see the trickle down into the weight room where now anti-rotation training is the most popular way to train your core. When in all actuality, you're training your core to stand still. Your core doesn't resist rotation when you locomote. It actually creates rotation. And if we can learn how to layer those patterns into our regular strength training, we can undoubtedly create more carryover when it's time to move around on the field. In this next segment, I want to compare a traditional Olympic lift with the Landmine University version so that you can get a couple ideas of how we can take the spinal engine theory and use it to influence what we do in the weight room. All right, guys, so I'm here with Stanford wrestling athlete Hunter Garvin, and we're going to look at the difference between a traditional hang clean, power clean, and the Landmine University version. Um, and we're going to take a look at why we might want to use the Landmine option uh, if we're trying to strengthen those spinal engine patterns and if we're working with athletes specifically. So Hunter, let's start with just this straight bar. And we're just going to take a look at a traditional clean. Um, this is a movement that's used by a ton of strength coaches for building explosive strength. And it's a great movement because you're going to see Hunter get his hips in explosively uh, to move that bar. Here we go. So he's using his hips to move the bar. There's an aggressive hip extension and then hip flexion. He's catching the bar with his elbows, going from a hang position to chest height, like two more here. What I want you to look at is his torso. What he's not doing is he's not rotating. There's no unilateral action in this hang clean. So what that's gonna be good for is straight bilateral movements. That's gonna transfer into his ability to jump off of both feet, to throw something square. What it's not gonna help so much with is when we're transferring weight or rotating from one side to another. Now, if Hunter jumps onto this landmine, we can take a look at the Landmine University clean and just start by getting into your starting position. Now, right here, you can see he's got that left side short, right side long, and he's rotating with his shoulders. He's got a coil now, coiling his core to the left, and as he hits that clean, he's gonna end up coiling it to the right. So let's just see like four or five of those explosive. Jump into it. There's a few benefits to this movement. You can see the rotation through the trunk. We are hammering in that pattern. The other big advantage is you can see he's on the balls of his feet. He's driving forward the whole time. And that forward pressure we keep on the landmine is also going to help us get more carryover uh, into our athletic movement. Perfect. Thank you, Hunter. All right, so there you can see some of the differences. And what we're really talking about, guys, is patterns. Both exercises are great. But if you're interested in strengthening your ability to rotate through the core and to use those spinal engine patterns, then the landmine clean is the way to go. All right, and I hope you guys enjoyed that little side-by-side -side breakdown of the traditional clean compared to the landmine university clean. I want to make a point of saying that I think both exercises are great for athletes. There's nothing wrong with building raw bilateral strength. Um, the point we're trying to make is that there is limited carryover between that type of explosiveness and explosiveness uh, in terms of locomotion, just because we're drilling different patterns. 
So if all we do is bilateral lifting and we never do anything athletic or never learn how to use our engine, then eventually our body's going to get so good at bracing in neutral that creating forward locomotion is going to become difficult. And you've seen that happen with big time power lifters, weight lifters. Not that there's anything wrong with that. They're pursuing their sport. Um, but if you're working with locomotive athletes, I think it makes sense to do a lot of your explosive training through that spinal engine. All right, you're going to create more efficient movement. You're going to help them get faster at making that long side, short side switch. And you're really just going to get a ton of carryover when it's time to actually perform. If you're interested in implementing spinal engine theory concepts into your strength training routine, or you're just looking for an alternative to the Olympic lifts for your explosive weightlifting, I highly recommend you head on over to landmineuniversity.com and become a certified coach. This system was designed to combine the best of both worlds with really functional engine driven movement and raw explosive strength. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time at Landmine University.